Hi guys, Bob Collins for Edgehog. This is going to be a very short video about some setup optional positioning of the strap, maybe some D-rings, and of course your inflator holder. I'm going to start here with the soft pack and I'm going to show you here on the shoulder, left shoulder pad, the inflator holder when you put it between the keeper and the upper crossover and the keeper, this can slide up and down. Now some of you might like that, some of you might not. If you prefer it to be stationary, all you have to do is take the keeper, move it a little higher up and put this inflator holder between the keeper and the crossover, this lower crossover. That will keep it in place and help keep your inflator down. Now, like I said, some of you might like that, some of you might not. Let's talk about D-rings real quick. D-ring wise, usually on this left, most of us don't put one here. If you want to, you're welcome to. But most of us will put the D-ring here. Some of us will put the pre-bent D-ring here and the pre-bent D-ring in the same position on the other side. Some folks will put a flat one here, put a bent one over here on the other side, and what they'll actually do is they'll take the, the pre-bent one and they'll put it right here instead of the flat one. That way it stands out a little bit more. But that's totally up to you. You can fold it back, you can put it forward. And again, the beauty of the total buoyancy control system, we'll show you the basic way to put it together and then you make it totally your own. Now, let's take a look at the hard plate. We've got our strap run, instead of going through this top slot and straight back, which actually mounts the hard plate a little higher on your back, what I've done is I've run the strap across the top, through the slot going toward the inside, and then you see that slash slot right there, come back through that slot and put your keeper, the, that plastic serrated keeper, back here on the back. I'll get a close up of this. So again, thanks for watching the short video. This is about setting up options as far as your technique. You may set it up one way to begin with and then change it another. And again, it's one of those things where you could always start with the soft back plate and switch to an aluminum hard plate or a stainless steel hard plate. The total buoyancy control system is customizable to your diving style and it may change year to year or, or month to month. You just never know. And of course, understanding how to customize is the beauty of this system. So that's a few little optional setups for the soft plate, for your D-rings, for your inflator keeper, and how to mount possibly a different way to move the plate up or down on your back. Again, thanks for watching. We appreciate you guys being here. See you again soon.